Hey folks, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Kind of warmer uh, midday of winter, early winter in Bangladesh. So uh, today in the morning, I couldn't do a review. Uh, it's not feeling all that well. But afternoon session, <clears throat> let's do two fragrance once again. I mean, it's actually more practical for me because uh, so many samples I have got recent times. I'm like getting restless and I couldn't finish doing reviewing. So I thought I'd do like double take on each video and make it like a shorter two videos in one. So it will be helpful one for him, one for her. So I have two sweet fragrances today and both of them are sort of on the gourmand side. So I selected them together, right? So I'll show you uh, one is a full bottle, one is a sample review. And uh, for those who don't understand why am I doing so many sample reviews, I don't want to blind buy so many full bottles uh, without testing. and. Uh, you know basically it will be like a waste so i can do a lot more reviews with the samples and those i feel are full bottle worthy i actually uh, am gonna use i buy them right so that's the basic idea so let's start with her right uh, let's say ladies first okay so the fragrance i have for you is from house of pakoraban and if you know uh, this one sorry I forgot to bring it if you know the <laughs> men's counterpart is this one pure access by him for him uh, the beautiful juice here it's a vanilla boozy vanilla fragrance you guys know it's a winter baby its female counterpart is pure access for her okay for the ladies so i bought this sample you can buy these samples from usb page in bangladesh let me settle down a little bit after workout and everything, a little bit out of breath so um this fragrance is a very sweet fragrance we will look at this and i'll let you know my thoughts on it longevity smell who is it for season stuff like that so basically it's an edp concentration it's a 1.5 ml sample and the name is exactly pure excess uh, i think the model's name is emily i cannot tell her last name radwanska i'm sorry i'm so sorry i, I it's a very tough name uh, so she's the model for it and the ad is very sexy she's just going around doing her thing very sexy ad if you i'll put the ad link below you can check so this is the bottle gorgeous little ball here you know I think uh, Ellie, uh, she uh, from UK, she reviewed this and absolutely spot on review. I'll share that as well. So compared to the male's bottle, which is now all the design for excess, uh, pure excess, they have this similar looking new bottles. This one looks much nicer. It has the snake dam that looks sexy. If you see it in real time, it will be much sexier. It's a beautiful bottle. Okay, it's pink in color and it's a sweet uh, gourmand beast mode kind of fragrance. Okay. So basically what they say is uh, ilang ilang and think as vanilla, popcorn, explosion and floral. So that's basically their description of this fragrance. That's what exactly you're gonna get from this. And I really love the bottle. I think the prices on these, I think 50 and 100 ml they come in, probably on the higher side because it's relatively new. Probably you have to pay about 70, 80 dollars or more to get a big bottle like this, okay? So this is a 2018 release, okay? And it's uh, under Pouage, France. Okay, so let's spray this on the paper and let you know my thoughts. The uh, juice will be like here, the official, the sample, it will say excess, big and big, right. Let's spray this, okay? Let's go two sprays and let that settle down. So this fragrance, as I told you, the notes, you know my recent days I bought one fragrance from House of Pakoraban, which is One Million Lucky. The thing is, if you love One Million Lucky, the same DNA is utilized in this one, Pure Excess, and the popcorn caramel sort of a note is also infused in this in a heavy dosage, this one. This one is one of the semi-fresh gourmand that I love. You guys know my love for it. There's this ongoing thing going on in the community. People are making fun of this fragrance. Those who haven't sniffed it, go and sniff it. This is perhaps the best alongside One Million um, Pure Perfume or uh, the one million what the, let me see the x oh, wait the other one is absolutely gold this version if you know this one and uh, lucky those two are perhaps are the best two from the one million line in me in my opinion humble opinion so if you love this one i would say you can check it out even if you're a dude because this one has that amped up sweetness you're looking for not semi-fresh semi-sweet you want all the way sweetness this is all the way sweetness what i get from it is it opens up with beautiful oh, it's a sweet beautiful blast up top and it's fresh it comes at you as fresh as well because uh, i think there's a note of a uh, up top there's some sort of citrus and you know the citrus with the floral beautiful sweet opening with that popcorn feel it just reminds you of theater 
if you go a movie goer night time late night catching a movie i mean if you're a lady you can wear this if you're a dude if you're into sweet fruity vanilla based fragrances you can also rock this i mean it's gonna project like crazy last like crazy projection longevity 10 for this fragrance as per my trying but those who are not fan of sweet fragrances stay away from it because this is a bomb once again what i also get is that floral it will pop up ylang ylang and that combines with that vanilla which gives it that gourmand feel so if you're into caramel popcorn sweet ones you're gonna definitely dig it it's very su sweet sexy and great for clubbing night out i think it'll be good for cold weather hot weather to be headache inducing so mm -hmm. this fragrance it's really a winner but this has this young feel at the heart if you like poison girl if you like olympia if you like <clears throat> uh -huh. say decadence you know those not decadence sorry if you like la vie belle you can definitely dig this fragrance it's beautiful juicy sort of a fragrance right so check it out check out the bottle it will look really great in your collection too overall this fragrance i'll give it like nine out of ten for the quality longevity and the smell okay pure excess for her beautiful little fragrance okay so now moving on to the next one this is the full bottle presentation i have this is an older fragrance this is from hani mori and i think the owner is basically from japan most probably i could be wrong but this is not a new fragrance it has some age to it those who are fan of isimiyake house if you're a fan of uh what's the other house kenzo this is one of such houses okay and it comes with this old school bottle right so i have the 100 ml bottle i bought it off from a community member in bangladesh and this is a juice i was looking for a very long time so i'll give a shout out to brother ismail rosado he's a good friend old friend of mine in fragcom when i started reviewing in 2016 he has been following me since then we've been friends since then he started doing reviews he has amazing photography skills hi brother how are you doing and uh, he let me know about this he said this is one of the sexiest juice in his opinion and he told me joy if you could check it out do find it so i've been looking for it almost three years and i recently got it and this fragrance is just different you know it's a this has its fresh side it has its sweet side it has its unique side okay basically this is the presentation for the box nothing special about the box and there is a, a intense version of it which is kind of like a cinnamony color and that is called him this is called hm that one is called him so him is more on cinnamon more on heavy winter based this is the first edition this edt concentration 100 ml nothing much to the box the bottle here few things if you've seen reviews or you haven't let me show you it, it will remind you right away it's a and ck1 those bottle frosted glass and the juice color as you can see it has become a little bit yellowish i think brand new ones they're not gonna go this yellow so many people are thinking why is this orange color so thing is i believe this is what happens uh with aging i think this is one of the first batch bottles the very vintage ones like when it was released and the guy who sold me this he has been owning it for a number of years so it the juice color changes over time but the juice doesn't change you know like it doesn't go bad so juice is pretty still good still pretty much good and it's just got intensified which is the magical part so if you see this juice color in some group do not be scared okay initially it was see-through it became like this color so the thing is the cap here it's inspired by one of the katana swords handle i think it actually looks like as mark says it looks like a screw <laughs> a screw on some you know like you're working in a uh let's say somewhere it's like screw on you know like it's a screw looks like a screw so it's kind of like i think plastic and metal combo it says hm up top and there's the uh, atomizer bottle shape is like this sticker here and it says hane more okay so that's pretty much all let's spray this and talk about it okay the sprayer is good on this let's just go on spray because it's heavy so this fragrance i think it's a again a gourmand at the same time it's a fresh slash gourmand when to wear it i think it's great early fall cool weather fragrance because it has a ooh, i love this unique opening this has the most unique opening in my opinion it's it comes at you fresh at first you'll think like oh it's a citrusy fragrance mm, it's fresh then wait <laughs> it changes it has black currant if you love aventus there's a black currant note in that right if you love fruitiness this fragrance has that fruits uh it's like a uh, kind of like those uh, japan you know like hong kong they have this special citrusy fruits growing i think it's uh you can also find it in um, ludice i think there's this 
maninka fruit or something the citrus you know yuzu if you like yuzu mix with kind of like black currant this is the opening you get from it it looks very simple bottle but the juice if it was present in a very glorious bottle it would sell a lot more so no one talks about it anymore because maybe it's old but this fragrance trust me if you're looking for a fresh citrusy gourmand kind of fruity fragrance this is so unique it's like i have anything nothing like this so in the opening it will come up for you as a fruity citrus then it will go slowly to the chocolate category chocolate as in like white chocolate you know it's like a chocolatey kind of a fragrance it mixes a little bit of vetiver in the base and basically it remains as a citrus just goes on all the way to heart and the base so it remains like a citrusy chocolate if it piques your interest definitely try it out i think it's pretty much unisex women can easily wear it it will smell really great on them even on the dudes it will smell really good can you rock this in the summer perhaps if it's a little bit breezy at night time it will be so sexy you can just go one on your chest maybe one on your neck and one on your each arm it will last and project very very long time long give it is great for this kind of a fragrance so uniqueness factor is 10 the combination overall uh, if you like salvatore ferragamo vumo if you like uh, all this new sort of uh, gourmands that has coffee and everything this one doesn't have coffee no darker notes but it's a fresh even if you like Givenchy play intense this fragrance take a look at this this might be in your uh, like ballpark or in your wanted category and i think it's not very expensive also you can definitely check it out very unique fragrance here and very sort of like a how to say it's a it's uplifting somehow okay it's cooling as well just like the frosted glass so i love this fragrance for overall longevity and projection i'll give it like like longevity 9 projection 8 smell of it i really like it i'll give it like 8.5 originality uniqueness 10 that's where this is different and uh, for the value it's a damn good value because a lot of these newer fragrances are very expensive this is not i think you can find this pretty much maybe 35 to 40 dollars if you look for a bargain <clears throat> so for all this fragrance i'll give it 9 out of 10 <laughs> okay for the value for the uniqueness and still today there's nothing like it i mean i haven't sniffed anything like it so it's kind of like a semi out of the fresh out of the shower at the same time semi gourmand chocolate citrusy all the way lovely little fragrance okay check it out hm by Hany mori that's all i have for today take care i'll talk to you soon have a very nice day bye bye